All right, let's start with walking in place, high knees, active arms. One, two, one, two, 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 two. two. And then adding a little bit bigger movement, kind of like, well, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but <laughs> the idea is that all the limbs are making big, long movements. So arms are going all the way up. Knees are coming high, waist level. <laughs> Lift them up as high as you can, big movements. Feel like my shoulders are warming up. Heart rate is going up, so that's good. And we add a little bit more pace so we go to jogging. So less arm movement, just jogging in place. And High knees. And then we go to butt kicks. High knees. And butt kicks. Stay on your toes. And relax. Take your arms and legs a little bit. Next one. Let me take this one sideways. Next one. Step back with the right leg. Dynamically coming back. Switch. Kick with left. One leg does the backward lunge. The other one does this huge karate kick. And keep your upper body nice and straight, nice and strong with your core muscles. And last two. One more and switch. Switch and kick. Switch and kick. Last two, and kick, last one, huge kick, and shake it off. Squats, shoulder width stands, nice and strong, straight upper body, 16 squats, and go. One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, and last one. There we go. Wider stance, a little bit more open with your nose, knees, and toes. Same upper body position. Sixteen sumo squat. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and the last one. All right, and then the deep squats, narrow stance, and ideally, so you go all the way down, 
You stretch your lower back and your knees. Ten times. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. A little sideways shuffle. Not too low. Just a little bend in the knee to the outer leg. Step inside, step into the side. Catching your breath here. If you were out of breath like me already, <laughs> hopefully not. And keep moving sideways. Let's open up the last step. Return towards the side wall. If you want to add a swing there, be my guest. Upper body is leaning forward. Not forward, actually, sideways. So leaning towards the ball where you're going to. Stepping in. Stepping in. Oh, one thing I forgot was to put a bracket in my mask which I'm going to get in a second, not yet, and done. Little shake again, little hip openers. Let's see if the balance is good. Starting on one leg, and then one is doing this hip opener without touching the floor. So first lifting your knee up, opening, and dropping it down. If you find the rhythm, it's kind of easy. If you don't find the rhythm, it's difficult to keep balance. And then the other direction. If you find difficult to keep balance like this, hold the chair, hold the wall, hold something. All right, switch. Again, opening, find the balance first. Hip opener. Whoop. And then other direction. Ooh. We gotta focus. Whoop. Last two. Oh, okay. Good. Some dynamic stretches. Work on those uh, hip flexors we were just working on. Squat, uh, lunge position. Upper body nice and straight up. So don't lean forward yet. Just vertically dropping your position where your back knee is close to the floor. It should not be on the floor because then it becomes very static. You want to keep the dynamic the tension in there. And then from this position, we extend the front leg, lean forward. And you can reach out with your arms if you like. Back to the first position. And then keep going between those two on your own pace. Hamstring stretch. Hip flexor, so it's back leg, front leg, back leg, front leg. Watch out, you might lose balance if you're not focused. And switch the leg. So you can just turn to the other direction. First finding the balance again. It almost takes a while for me at least. Dropping the back knee. And when feeling the stretch, hold it there for a little bit and then start going back and forth from hamstring. And these are all good moves for your to stabilize your muscles. If you're not holding anything, try to keep it just to your feet, touching the floor, 
nothing else. It's always good to win. It's a little bit extra work for the stabilizers. Good balance exercises. Hip flexor, hamstring, hip flexor, hamstring. Oh, okay. Good. We're getting there. All right. Forward bend. Lean forward. Relax your shoulders. Relax your head, your neck. Breathe deeply. Extend your legs well, so really get the stretch in your hamstrings. And at the same time, your lower back as well. If you need to intensify the stretch, wrap your arms around your legs. Gently pull your upper body towards your legs. Walk your hands forward to a plank, into a plank position, and just warm up the arms a little bit and do five push ups on your own pace. And then we're going to go another dynamic movement back and forth from down dog, downward dog into Cobra. So stretching the front with the Cobra, the hip flexors, the shoulders. Oof. Well, not the shoulders really, more the hip flexors, the abs. And then when you go to down dog, it's more the shoulders, Achilles, your, your hamstrings, your calves. Oof. And move back and forth between these two the way you feel fit. When you do cobra, try to lift your gaze and look at the ceiling. A couple of fast ones between these two. Also elevate the heart rate a little bit. Get the cranky joints going, your shoulders, hips. And then walk here. Oh no, we're not done yet here. <laughs> take, a, take a strong, long, huge, giant leap of faith. No, leg, jump with the right leg. So we get into a low lunge position. The right leg, right foot, right hand next to one another. Stay there for a second. Let's get the body used to this very uncomfortable position. And then start opening up your upper body. And breathe. Always think that I forget when I get a yoga class. I'm doing this movement and I just don't breathe at all for a minute. And bring your hands down and foot back, back to plank, and then to the other side. Lunge position. Back knee is not on the floor, so that extend that back leg as well as you can. And then start opening up your upper body. Hands back down, back to plank, and walk your hands slowly back to forward bend. Stay there for another couple of breaths. Last time. And let's grab the racket for 
some more shoulder stretching, arms overhead with the racket in between. And when you go down, you pull with the first or the lower arm, slightly down with the racket and then exhale at the same time. Inhale in the middle. And then big circles, extended arms, and slight pull of the racket to opposite directions with your arms. So tension in the shoulders as you rotate. And switch. I feel so stiff today. Ah, okay. Arms in a 90 degree angle. Exhale, rotation, pushing into the racket with the front arm. Well, is this the front arm or the back arm? Well, anyway, the, the, <laughs> the arm that is behind the racket. <sighs> All right, wrists and forearms. Might not get any really, really cold. So wrist rotation, both directions. Forearm muscles. We do a lot of floor exercises, so it's good to have those wrists very flexible. Obviously for squash, at least the racket arm wrist needs to be nice and strong. Okay, I'm gonna get my mask uh, bracket and we're good to go. Get some water. This. Okay, and since I'm here, I am gonna put some music for the background. All right, guys, because the favorite word is burpee. So, we're going to start with burpees. So, the basic drill is it's 12 movements. As always, 12 one minute movements or stations, you can call them as well. And we have 15 seconds in between, so not much time, just time enough to move from one to next. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the exercises quickly. They are very simple, more or less. So like I said already, we're gonna start with burpees. Uh, I'm sure everybody's ready to rock and roll. All right, let's go. So one minute, burpees, and go. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Come on, guys, we got 60 seconds. Time. Okay, next one is a lateral jump plus vertical. So lateral, vertical, lateral, vertical. Go. Ten seconds. Come on, guys. Time. All right. So bicycle crunches on the floor. This one. Ready? Go. No boy need to touch. So to extend the free leg as much as you can. Oh, we got 10 seconds. Come on. Push it through. Let's go. Oh, time. Okay, turn around. We're going to do reptiles with the elbow plank position. So a little bit different to what we normally do. Okay, so elbows and reptile. Straight reptile, so meaning knee to your arm, your upper arm. Oh, 20 seconds. Oh, I don't, guys, stay with me. Oh. Time. Oh. All right, back on your back. Woo. Tough one. Okay, we're gonna do one leg bridge, hip raise, 30 seconds each leg. So you're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Go. <sighs> Lifting your hip up as much as you can. Let the legs stay straight up. Switch. <sighs> so try to push your hips upwards as much as you can. <sighs> Oh, 
Push it up, push it up. Time. Okay, next one. It's a little bit different ab movement. So we're gonna have a plank position and then jump with two legs to one side, back to the middle, to the other side. Okay, side to side. Go. <sighs> 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 So you go to plank and then forward. So your legs or your feet are doing this V form. Fifteen seconds, come on. Time. When your belly, Superman reach. So, it's gonna be on the belly, on side, on the side. Extend back on the side. Go. Oh, God. Fifteen seconds. Stay with me. Come on. Time. Ah. Oh. Okay. What's next? Ah, oh, the famous, familiar backward lunge, and then. Read knee raise, same leg. Backward lunge, reach with the upper body, and knee raise. If you want to add a jump, add a jump. Switch. Once you get a little bit hang of the rhythm, balancing is so much easier. Time. Next one. 10 jumping jacks, 10 squat jumps, and repeat. Ready, and go. Yeah. <sighs> 
quick jumps. Time on the floor, sitting, lots and twist. So side to side. And go. Legs in the air. Fifteen, come on. Ten seconds. Russians, uh, uh, and time. Back on your feet. I'll turn the lunge. Alternative, alternate. Oh. And go. Oof. 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 Stay strong. You got ten seconds. Time. Last one. Plank burpee. So burpee without a push up. Ready? Go. Fifteen. One more. Oh, time. Ah, oh. little break, guys. Pretty good, right? <laughs> okay, we have a little pause, and that's we're doing a lot of core. The in between five minutes or so, it's going to be cardio ghosting just to level it up. Huh. Thank <laughs> you.
Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Man. Oh, that knocked out my lungs, my feet. Oof. Ah. Could have left with acid here. Okay, get ready for some medium pace ghosting. So when you're slightly, let's just call it tired, physically, you know, you need some rest, but the rallies, the, the game goes on. Focus on your footwork, focus on your rhythm that you get off the floor. That's the first thing that happens when you get tired. You start to be very flat footed, really horrible to, to create any kind of rhythm, any kind of speed. And it actually starts causing you more and more power and strength to move around. So make sure you're on your toes the upcoming minutes. Okay? You got your racket? Oof. Woo. Okay. We're going to do some left to right uh, basic driving. And if you have narrow space, just do it straight in front of you, one side. And then the other side, if you have more space, like me, obviously, I'm going to do this both side walls. Um, technically, when you start to approach a shot, first thing when you, obviously, like I said, you're on your toes, start early with your upper body rotation, get that back swing up there so that when you hit the ball, it's, it's almost more relaxed to swing. So you're not, you're not hasty and, you know, bring your racket up the last second. Okay. okay, let's go. Two minutes. Front, uh, sorry, left, right rails. Good, nice footwork in the middle. Go. So swing in, nice shuffle. Just getting those legs going again. At least mine are pretty heavy at the moment. Oof. Try to get that. Force yourself to be within good rhythm. Oof. Light footed, nice relaxed swing and breathe. Let your body recover here. Make sure there's a weight shifting going on as you swing, forward movement. So often when we do ghosting, we actually have less technique, but this is ideal to work on to make your technique perfect. <sighs> Nice and light. And time. Next one. Forward movement, front corners, meaning uh, you're going to bring the racket low, no swing really, and just try to get a high lob out of those front corners. Ready? Go. So, lunge, lob, backwards, back, lunge, lob, backwards, back, nicely on the toes. <sighs>
One more minute. Make sure the lunge is a reasonable longer lunge because you need to do that in the match anyway. So practice something is useful for you. Reach out, strong open racket face, firm grip, firm wrist. Think about how high the ball hits the front wall. Thirty seconds. Backwards, back. Nicely on the toes with the switch. And the last one. Ah, okay. Woo, good job. Put the racket away again. Ah. So, round two, guys. Round two. Oh. Have a, have a sip of water. Oh. oh, yeah, I said no rackets, right? Okay, we start with the burpee. Oh. So, full burpee with push up if possible. If not, and if your wrist or any other part of the body is not really functioning without pain, Adjust the movement, don't force it. Wrists are tricky, shoulders are tricky. So try to go slower down or don't do the push up, just do a plank, or just limit it to the jumps. So listen to your body, all right? And me, of course. <laughs> all right, where's my timer when I need it? There we go. Okay, burpees, guys, everybody ready? Burby time and go. Time. Lateral jump plus vertical jump. Ah. Ready? And go. Fifteen seconds. Oof. Nice and wide lateral jumps. Oh, time. Bicycle crunches. Oof. 
<sighs> Ready? Go. <sighs> Twenty seconds. Come on, stay with me. Time. Turn around with your elbows, elbow reptile. Ready and go. Keep going. Ah, oh, we got twenty five seconds. Oh. 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 Ten seconds. Oh. Until the end. Come on. Ah, oh. time. Oh. Oh, all right, on your back, one leg, glued, bridge. Great way to catch your breath here. Okay, lift your hips up and one leg up, hold it. I tell you when to switch. Uh. Uh. Push it through, come on. Up, 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 up. Higher. Uh. And switch. Oof. Leg up and go. Work with the glutes. Ah, oh, time. Ha. Huh. Okay. Next one, side to side ab jumps. Remember these. Side to side. So plank position. Jump both legs, one side, back to plank. The other side, back to plank. Fifteen seconds. Ah, oh, stay with me. Come on. Time. Ah, why is this heavy for the legs? Ah, ah. on the back belly. 
Superman reach out. Go. Try to extend the arms as much as you can. Work with those shoulders. Work with your back. Oh, 50 seconds. Oh. Oh, time. Oh, oh. Backward lunge, guys. 30 seconds, one leg. I'll let you know when we switch. Ready? Go. Switch. Time. Ah. Jumping jacks, 10 and 10 squat jumps. Ah. Ready, go. Higher, guys. Time. Sit down for us and twist. Almost there. A couple of minutes. Ah, three moves. Go. Twenty seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oh, five seconds. Fine. Oh. All right, stand up. Alternate lunge. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. 
Two moves. Let's go, guys. Okay, here we go. Ooh. 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 Let's focus. We got this. Back knee low. Sorry about making so much noise. It's painful. Ah, 15 seconds, guys. Let's go. Come on. Ah, time. Last one. Plank burp. Ah, our favorite. Ah, ah, ah. Ready? Let's go. Fifteen. Uh, almost there. Uh, 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 time. Woo! We did it. Uh, 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 uh. Good job. Well done, everybody.